I'm just saying, like, damn, Laura Lee's biggest fan spoke out the house. So what's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux. In today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Oh, honey, you know I already have my receipt, girl, my sleigh all day back. This, this is a major receipts, girl. And, you know, I have to start putting receipts in different bags. That's half a receipt. Other receipt is in here because we already got some drama girl. Drama, drama, drama girl. Drama girl. Drama, drama, drama girl. Thanks to Dustin Daly, I have this clip. Roll it, girl. Drama girl. Drama, drama, drama girl. I just wanted to address something. Um, switching gears here. Uh, our Christmas party, we had a. This party, we had a. Uh, 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 white elephant party. I know there's some drama online spreading and going around. Um, I just wanted to be kind of a voice of reason. Um, I didn't want to really talk about it. Sure, Jan. I guess, but... I'm me, and if you guys know me, I'm very opinionated. Um, I'm not here to attack anybody. I'm not here to stand up for anybody. I'm just here to put it out there that at the end of the day, the White Elephant Party, the White Elephant Exchange was a game, and that's what it was. It was a game. Um, it was a $50 limit. Some people didn't see that, even though it was really clear on the invitation. Um, I don't know. There's just so much going on, and I just think it's unnecessary right now. I feel like if you have an issue with somebody, you should DM them or talk to them privately. You know, at the end of the day, it was a game, and the gift, whichever way it's going, is going to somebody in need, whether that's being given to someone or a giveaway or whatever. I understand everybody is entitled to their opinion, but I just don't think the tweets and what whatever are necessary, you know. I say, hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Hate online sucks. I've been the recipient of it. I've immaturely sent out hate. Um, and in the past few years, I've really learned from that. And I've tried to be vocal, but also not be super negative towards anyone in particular, just because I know tweets and words can really affect people and really, you know, put people down. Um, so I don't know, just think for yourselves, read the situation. You don't need to send out hate to anybody just because your fave is doing so. But at the end of the day, like Christmas is about giving to those who maybe are less fortunate or maybe can't afford that certain thing. And that's where this is going. The gift at hand, I'm not gonna Name names, I'm not gonna name things, but. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the f is that? Um, yeah, anyways, those are just my two cents. I think it's a big situation that can be handled offline. Um, and I don't think that's a thing a lot of YouTubers do. I don't really understand it. I don't know if it's for attention. Or if it's just being overly vocal about things, but I think there needs to be more adult conversations. You know, you get to a certain point in life where you are direct with somebody versus just talking indirectly when you don't need to. I don't know, it just creates so much more friction and so much more negativity all around. I don't know, shoot a DM to somebody, grab coffee, talk about your differences. Um, that's something I've always I mean, I try to like pride myself on doing, but I know it's hard. I know it's different for a lot of people, but <sighs> drama girl, drama, drama, drama girl. Anyways, no need for it. Oh, honey, in the words of, I guess me, if you don't like drama, then why are you talking about drama? Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, who the hell is that? Who's that person you just showed? Okay. I, here we go, guys. Okay, I'm f we finally got somebody new to talk about, and I kind of feel like that person, Daniel Prada, is gonna be in so much drama into the new year. I can just feel it. 
and I have predictions. You know I'm a psychic drama channel the house, girl. So there's this YouTuber named Joey Graceffa, who's like super mega famous in the world YouTube, okay? And he has a boyfriend named Daniel Prada, and now she's doing YouTube too. And everyone says, allegedly, she a little messy girl. And everybody says, allegedly, that she controlling and manipulative, and she controls Joey Graceffa the house. But I'm thinking, it's my opinion. Joey Graceffa is so famous that he has like a huge cult following, you know, that if anything seems off about him, they immediately want to blame the evil boyfriend girl. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if she's evil or not. I don't know if she's controlling or manipulative, but I will say she's messy, girl. She's messy the house. Okay, so here we go. Now, in order for you to really understand what I'm talking about, you gotta watch part one. It's gonna, this is gonna be part two, okay? Part one will be in the comments down below. This is what it looks like. It's the video. So, Joey Graceffa and the evil manipulative boyfriend, allegedly, threw a big party. We talked about this before. Come on, people, get with the program. And YouTubers were there. Trisha Paytas brought a present. Laura Lee won the present and then Laura Lee put it in a giveaway. That's what basically the video was about. And everybody was like, oh my God, that's so shady, girl. That's so shady, the hat. And I'm thinking that Laura Lee was being messy too because in my opinion, Laura Lee don't like Trisha Paytas. Laura Lee does not like Trisha Paytas. So for Laura Lee to sit up there, pretend like she does, she, everybody knows. Laura Lee does not like Trisha Paytas, and I have the receipts on that ass. Because you remember, girl, Laura Lee would start crying in the house. Trisha Paytas was the first one to make a video calling her out saying it was fake, and I think that would left a little bitter taste in Laura Lee's mouth. In fact, that video went up first, and then all the other major publications reported on it. So. And I, it could be that Trisha Paytas was a nail in the coffin that started the Laura Lee drama, The House of the Summer. Now, I'm thinking Laura Lee was happy she won, but she was like, girl, I don't want this girl's iPad. She freaking dragged me through the mud on YouTube and made fun of me in the house. I'm putting a giveaway. I don't want her crap, girl. And so people then said it was shady, The House, that she did that. Well, which brings us in today's drama, okay? Oh, my gosh. So Daniel Prada, the manipulative, allegedly evil boyfriend, like I said, has a YouTube channel. He made a video and he was basically saying that he's team Laura Lee. Laura Lee was playing by the rules. Laura Lee didn't do anything wrong to have. You already know. I have my opinions about that, girl. I love these. I love these. Uh-huh. Girl, these Anastasia brushes are the tea, girl. I love them so much. It's the truth, girl. All day long, she being messy. We all can agree. So she's sitting up there talking about, you know, you should just talk to the person. You don't gotta make a video. You should just talk to the person. Well, that's what you're doing in this Snapchat rant, girl, or whatever that video rant. That, you're doing the same damn thing that you're saying people should do. You're not even taking your own advice. Oh my God, I can't deal right now, okay? Drama girl, drama, drama, drama girl. Like, are you serious? You're the queen of drama the house, girl. You're the last one. You're the last one who needs to be talking about drama with the amount of receipts that everybody has on that ass, girl. So then, girl, he tweeted out. Here's what he said. The game really had me fired up at Trisha Paytas. I'm sitting here ready to use my Jojo Siwa suitcase, though. At least someone deserving will still get a wonderful iPad for Christmas, though. Then, in the tags of his video, Okay, here's what he tagged it with, girl. Balenciaga, drama, giveaway, iPad Pro. Girl, if you don't like drama, then why are you talking about drama, okay? And did y'all guys pay attention to his rant when he said, it clearly said on the invitation, $50 limit. So, are you trying to throw shade at Trisha because she didn't listen to it? In my opinion, in my opinion, this was a dig at Trisha Paytas. He was being shady at Trisha Paytas because I'm going to reach as far as I can. Maybe he's on Laura Lee's payroll, the house, girl. 
I'm just saying, like, damn, Laura Lee's biggest fan spoke out the house. So we are trying to... Oh, girl, I don't know. It's just all a mess if you ask me. Now, I know y'all all been waiting for this for all year long. I'm going to finally give a couple swatches and review of the Paris Hilton Girl Boss Palette. Oh, hold on. Did y'all guys see Paris Hilton hanging out with Kim Kardashian recently for Christmas? Did y'all guys see that? Epic the house, girl. Okay, here it is. Paris Hilton's new palette, the Girl Boss Palette, 12 shades of ultimate, there's his hair on it. 12 shades of ultimate neutral. All right, here we go. Okay, let's go. Okay. Um, oh, they have names too, what? So you got, oh girl, they're busted names. Like you got names like, hold on girl, let me read them to you. You got names like Sand, Vanilla, Sketch, Lavish, Envy, Bronze, Showtime. They're nothing like really like major, major. So let's go ahead and just start like giving a little swatch. Okay, I'm not gonna say nothing, girl. I don't wanna be shady. <laughs> I love Paris Hilton, I really do. I, let me just say this. Girl. <laughs> Here's the R. Girl. Hold on, let me see what it looks like. In Girl. <laughs> um, Moving right along. Okay. I just feel like, okay, Kim Kardashian has makeup. And it's very well executed. And you can tell it's of substance and quality. The Paris Hilton Girl Boss Palette. Actually, the whole entire Paris Hilton makeup line. I am rooting for you, Paris. Like... These bottom dark colors were like pretty decent, but they look like wax almost. And these kind of like, girl, Paris Hilton, what are you doing? Put some more money into your brand. Oh my gosh. I don't get it. It kind of, I don't want to say nothing because Paris Hilton is the queen in my book. And I, you, look, it's broke, girl. But I love Paris Hilton. A lot of her stuff is a miss. A lot of her stuff is a hit. So I'm I'm biased when it comes to Paris Hilton makeup. I showed it to y'all. It is what it is, girl. Okay, don't come for me the house. Anyways, girl, let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below. And so yeah, I'll see you in the next video. If you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters when they watch it. They lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.